Hey, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Renzo here. I uh, hope you can hear me. Uh, this is my first live stream of the year. I wish you all a happy new year. Let me see if my audio is okay. It looks like everything is okay. Okay, let's paint. Uh, welcome, Barbara. But uh, John, Maggie, hello everybody. Uh, okay, let's paint today. I'm gonna paint oh, William Dafoe. Hello, Mercia. Just give me a second to move. Okay. Turning on some lights. Uh, the colors I have here are titanium white, cadmium yellow hue, cadmium orange hue, cadmium red hue, permanent alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, and ivory black. Now the brushes that I use are usually are usually uh, synthetic brushes. So the ones I use, and I'm gonna continue using these ones this new year. Hello, Sotnir. Hello, Christine. Okay, I hope, I hope everybody uh, has a nice uh, and successful new year. Let's paint. I'm gonna draw a little bit. First, I'm gonna sketch a little bit. I'm gonna mix just yes, ultramarine blue and orange, touch of red. Okay, and let's sketch. Let me check out this. Left. Here. Okay, I'm gonna place the head here. Yeah. Here's my space for mixing the colors. I'm just checking out the overall shape, the whole head. I'm stepping back a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to simplify, you know, it looks like some kind of triangular shape. Like this. Hello Thomas, hello Dita. Uh Dita Yeah and yes I'm much much better, you know, I got sick. I don't even know if I got the COVID. I just got sick and now I'm doing okay. Let's see the center line line for the eyes. Brows, nose, chin. Usually, uh, I always use these uh, measurements and try to measure this and this. Split the face in three portions. Okay. Now, uh, usually, uh, you know that this is not going to work all the time, but does something that at least I have a foundation and a structure for the face. And then I will change that, adapting those measurements to uh, the person I'm painting, you know. In this case, it's pretty clear that, for example, he has a pointy nose. But if we see the base of the nose, we, we can say that it's a short nose. Pointy nose and a really pointy, a bigger uh, chain. Okay. Put some color. Let's 
I was checking out my ch my channel and I've, I've been painting like uh, for a couple of years, like, and I have like almost four. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm right. Almost four hundred videos. I've been painting a lot. Yeah. I'm planning to do the same this year. I mean, I want to paint as much as possible. You know, practice and practice. You need to practice. I mean, in my case, I don't consider this as, as practice anymore. I just love to do this and enjoy it and just paint and paint. The, the thing that I want to, to do in every, every painting is try to practice. Uh, I mean, I said that I wasn't, I wasn't considered a practice, but try to, let's say, experiment a little bit, a little bit, you know, uh, not that, that, that bold, that, uh, not so fearless about trying new things, but at least try not uh, making sometimes more, let's say, bold brush strokes or sketchy effects or, I don't know, add more color. Hello, Barbara is asking me. Okay. Thank you. Hello, this year. Do Doctor is, is asking me, is this canvas you are painting on? Yeah, yeah, this canvas. I always use canvas. You know, people got confused because I use, uh, I put my palette here, but this is a canvas. All this is canvas, and I prefer to do this because, uh, I mean, first I have the same color for my palette and my canvas. And second, uh, my palette is pretty close to my painting. And this way it's easier to kind of compare the colors close to my painting. Obviously, I used to paint with a palette, a separate palette on my on a table. And uh, I think it's just, this is easier for me. It's just that, it's easier for me. This is, uh, and it is, it's easier for anyone to just to use a palette on a table. That's okay. For me, this is easier. Or it's easier at the same time I got used to that. You know? I got used to that. And basically for YouTube, you know, because I I, I don't use a palette like this when I'm painting at, at home here. I basically, I just, just I hold a palette on my hand. Or uh, I used to... I used to have a big uh, piece of glass that I used as a palette for so many years. Okay, I'm trying to mix a, a gray orangey color. I'm planning to add, I make a kind of a thicker paint, but for the beginning I just want to start just kind of thin very lightly until I got uh, the proportions and I see the drawing is, is, is better and then I'm starting more paint. Uh, Swapnil, do you see your paintings? Uh, yes, Swapnil, you see on uh, the description box there are, there are some links uh, there to uh, my website where you can find some of the paintings for sale. There is some links to my Instagram account, Patreon, uh, uh, some a website where you can see uh, where, you can, where, you, where you can ask for a co commission and you can see some of the paintings that I have for sale.
would like to ask you, any one of you, how how you doing this new year? <laughs> I wish I could hear your your voices. <laughs> I have been investigating some new things, you know, to do, and I found this. I forget the what's the name, but this is kind of some kind of community where you can just leave like a voice, a voice messages, voice like emails, emails, something like that. I'm gonna investigate a little bit more about that. I think it's uh, Discord. That's the website, Discord. Okay, basically I'm using just this color, you can see it's just orange and ultramarine blue. And with uh, this I'm just working around the face. Uh, when we work a face, remember that it's a round form, that means that on both sides of the face we can make the color a little bit darker and the light is going to be in the middle. Not always, okay? Not always, it depends where is the light coming from. In this case, obviously, the light is a frontal light. That means that this face is hidden here, basically. And we're gonna have a light here, here, here. Okay, shadows here and here. Okay, guys, do you just give me do you like doing plain plain air? Happy twenty twenty two. Hopefully, uh, it'll be a better year. Yeah, I hope we all hope for that. Yeah. Hello, Monique. Yeah, hey, Discord. That's the the, the name. So nearly saying working from home due to the COVID situation in India. I uh, wish you the best to everybody Happy New Year this year copy copy yeah, uh, to be honest uh, I haven't painted so much like outside I'm more like a inside person like I'm working just on my studio I've been out to paint a few times yeah, but no not as much maybe I mean I, I Maybe I can count with my hand, with my two hands, maybe just eight eight or nine times I went out to paint. You know, I loved it. You know, I loved that experience. But anyway, I think maybe I didn't love that experience that much that because I didn't repeat it again, but, uh, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I have gone to paint seascapes a couple of times and then I have gone here in, in Peru in the south there is a city it's called Arequipa also in the south is in the Sierra Peru and you can paint beautiful mountains you can paint a, a volcano and I went there I painted for a couple of days yeah. Uh, maybe I think it's kind of frustrating for me that everything changed so fast when we paint on plain air and kind of and just to just nothing to change here I mean my, my image is static even if I paint from life which I have painted from life from life so many times you know the light is fixed like uh, stable and in a studio and it's not gonna change anything for all the time you need to paint but when you're upside everything change color light it's a really a nice nice experience and pretty important you know to practice anyway it's just you know what we like just that. <clears throat> Hello Oscar. Yeah, Happy New Year. Hello Ahmad from Holland. Dita, your voice is a little 
like a cold, cold. Yeah, yeah, I had the cold. Yeah, that was my voice. It's like that. I was waiting, like I wanted to wait like a couple, a couple more days. I wanted to paint at the same time, and, and my son, he was like that. Paint this guy, you know, from the movie Spider Man. This William Dafoe. He has a pretty pre expressive, expressive face, and yeah, he's right. I I have uh, I mean, I have painted this guy before in a different position. You know, but it's pretty a nice, fa a nice face when you have so many expression of, you know, on, on the face. Then I said, okay, I'm gonna paint it. Uh, I'm here ready to mute myself if I start coughing <laughs> because of the flu, you know. Big brother is asking me what software do you use for your live stream? I use OBS. OBS is a software that controls, uh, let's say, YouTube and my camera. And the microphone, everything, everything. So Neil is telling me, can you show us your studio someday? Oh yeah, yeah, that would be, that would be nice. Yes, not so sure. Yeah, to be honest, I don't want to. <laughs> My studio is a mess. First, when I'm, where I paint here is pretty small. It's pretty small, and even that is small, it's a mess. And you know, I, I will do it someday. Yeah, pretty sure I will. I just wanna. I have to clean this <laughs> up a little bit. change a different brush to make a darker color, to mix a darker color. Mm. Uh, just to, I mean this studio I have here is like uh, two meters, maybe more, three meters by just two meters. It's just pretty small because uh, basically I used to kind of keep it like, like uh, just to store my paintings. Not the tubes, I mean my paintings. And I started to use it to record my courses and I started to use it for record videos. Trying to avoid the sound, you know the sound from everywhere here. And I had, I oh, still has, an, I have another studio, another room a little bit bigger. But you know what? I, lately I spend more time here in this little space because I give my lessons from here and you know I have a Patreon account, I have a, I have live paint along lessons and I, I just spend a lot of the time here inside this little room And at the same time, I, I have another studio on my dad's home, which is kind of um, 40 minutes from here. I haven't gone there, and I mean, I have gone then there in, uh, about uh, two weeks ago, but I didn't even get inside my studio. I went there just to visit my, my, my dad, my family. I have there some brushes and oil paints and canvases. You mean OBS? Yes, OBS. Lost lots of teeth. Yay, yeah, Monique. Uh. 
What do you use to prime the canvas? I mean, uh, gesso. Just gesso. Just three layers. I apply the layers with a plastic ruler, like this. I apply like this. I spread the gesso three times. And because I use this, uh, I don't. I don't need to sand the canvas. It's pretty soft. I'm going pretty lightly with this dark red color just like drawing but I don't want to just uh, lay down too much paint right now until I'm sure that the drawing is okay or at least the proportions are okay Uh, you know, when I paint a portrait, I try to get close every time to the likeness. I try to get the likeness. It's not like I'm unable to do it every time, but every time I try. Hello, Elizabeth. See the shape of the forehead. It's like a rectangle. Yeah, I have it right. No, if you split this in two part, two things, that would be a rectangle for the forehead and a triangle for all this area here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got it right. I think about the width, the height. Okay. Yeah, now I can add more paint and with that I'm gonna make more details. Yeah, I think maybe I'm gonna just make more a little bit of details first. I mix in black, red, let's see. Remember that I would recommend to use a simple method for drawing. The Loomis method for me is the simple and more effective method for drawing. There, uh, using the Loomis method you're going to find that the, uh, you're going to learn how to split the face in three portions, the center line of the face, angles and all of that. And obviously it's not just knowing about that, you need to practice. And at the same time, uh, more than just these measurements, at the same time using a circle to build up the face, which you can make a sphere later to add some volume to the face and movement. Dr. SK is asking me what is the base paint. Uh, this is canvas which color and whisk it with solvent I'm not, use, I'm not using any solvent I just the oil paint uh, I set the colors at the beginning I'm gonna repeat them, okay? Just, just a minute. Okay, the first color is titanium white, cadmium yellow hue, cadmium orange hue, cadmium red hue, permanent alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, and ivory black. Now, uh, uh, for me, about using uh, any medium 
or solvent, glycid oil is just, it depends on my canvas. If uh, right now my canvas is pretty good, I can, I can feel it. But if I feel some resistance when I'm painting, definitely I'm gonna use some solvent, linseed oil. And when I use a sol solvent, I, uh, a medium, I use to mix linseed oil and turpentine, kind of half and half. Otherwise, I don't even realize or think about a medium, you know, I just paint, paint, and, but at the same time, the paint, you know, um, uh, this is, uh, the, the, the brand of these oil paints are uh, Winton, they are not so thick, too thick, uh, maybe a different brand that's going to be different, you know, uh, and maybe because of the thickness of the oil paint, you're going to need some linseed oil or some any solvent. And you can use anything, you know. I have used linseed oil, trumpet time, I have used liquid, I have used, uh, what's the name of this? I don't remember, somebody just uh, gave me as a gift a solvent, I don't even remember. It's liquid ticks, maybe it's liquid ticks, no, I'm reading about that, liquid ticks, maybe it was something like that. And it was, it was good, I mean all those things are really good. Any, any of those things, I mean, they are made for painting, I mean, they are good. It's just what we want, what we, what we like. Some painters, they just prefer to always add uh, some medium to make the painting thinner. And some painters, they just prefer to feel the thickness of the oil paint. It's just that, it's not that one is better and the other is just worse. Okay, I'm gonna start adding a little bit of color to the face. Remember the reddish parts of the face are gonna be always the same. Nose, cheeks, nose, upper and lower eyelid. A little bit of the forehead, sometimes not nothing. And the chin, okay? Now from here, it depends how much color you wanna add to the painting how much paint, how much color you want to make it pink or orangey, it's up to you I'm gonna mix a little bit of green too greenish, that's too intense, yeah, somebody want to put more paint on top of this, hello Eric, hello Ineta, Monique is saying games on, yeah maybe games on, I cannot recommend anything because I mean I think all of them works but if I gotta say that uh, if I felt some difference with some medium uh, basically it was with uh, liquid the liquid it, that felt so good I don't know I mean this kind of a, some kind of I don't know how to say it but uh, the texture it's pretty good, you, you gotta try it. But anyway, it wasn't enough for me to stick to the use of uh, liquid. I used, uh, I remember I bought a, a bottle of liquid and I ended up using like a, <laughs> it uh, was like a, 20, more than 20 years ago, uh, once I didn't have uh, any varnish and I had, I had just liquid 
and I have to varnish the painting like I don't even remember why, why I mean why I couldn't go to art store but at the end I used this liquid I added it on top of the painting it was like a varnish pretty nice pretty nice I don't know what was going on with the painting anymore maybe it's all ruined cracked or anything but I just did it and it was just pretty amazing was just like a glaze of varnish. Okay, I'm gonna add more and more paint, just little by little. Now I'm planning to add more colors, okay? Uh, uh, and just, let's say I have this kind of cool light with this pink here. Maybe in the next 20 minutes, you're not gonna see anything of this color. But just put in there, let's see if that works, this kind of cool light here. I don't see this kind of cool highlights on the photograph I don't see that blue or green I'm just trying to add more color when you try to add more color to any any painting it's gonna be just about enhancing the real color obviously this area is greenish obviously I'm not gonna make the nose green. Let's say I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add more color to my painting. Let's make the, the nose green. No, no, that's that's not gonna work. I'm gonna make the nose reddish or orangey. In this area that's greenish, I'm gonna make it a little more greenish. And obviously from there I'm gonna try to control this because I don't wanna end up at the same time with some kind of colorful face without any control when you see a colorful painting I mean usually it's a balance between gray down colors and colorful and saturated colors Okay, let me see. I'm adding this. Uh, this has some yellow. It's obviously, it's gonna look brighter. I think this is better.
see. Mm. This is my lightest light. Here. I need more white. this light, then here, then here, Squinting down my eyes, this ch cheek has more light than this. Okay. I keep squinting down my eyes. Okay, that's the only way we have to uh, try to copy values. Now I see this highlight, light here, light, light. Yeah, it looks like everything is okay. Popo works, works, okay, thank you. Okay, I have to squint down my eyes again. Do you have any question? Let me know. Okay. That's okay when people ask, ask me questions. You know, uh, I used to paint with my friends after I finished the, the School of Art. It was some kind of uh, idea that working together we can, we can make it be better, or we can make it, <laughs> for saying some way. And we rented a, a house after we finished up the School of Art. It was kind of a big house and we had, a, let's say, a room for each one of us and there we paint and usually we paint, we shared, you know, lunch. We spent there like sometimes the whole day. Sometime, sometimes I even spend there like three, four days in a row, you just, just painting, sleeping there, going out to take breakfast, eat, getting back. Usually my friends, uh, they used to just go to their homes and go, come back next 
the you know and paint and paint yeah, that was pretty nice and it was something that we used to just you know pick out loud from one space to the other space speaking and sometimes I used to go to somebody's one of my friends there and we shot for an hour while he was painting and it was the same for me we kind of got you kind of get used to work with people and then I remember uh, when I uh, I rented my own let's say place just for me nobody is just me painting there it took me a little bit to get used to you know the idea to paint alone because I was just there alone it took me a little bit and then when I got used to paint alone you know I kind of uh, it's, you feel kind of uh, different when somebody's just around you and you're trying to paint and somebody's speaking to you It's not, it wasn't for long for for long you know I, I got my own place for maybe a year and then I moved with my another friends two more friends one one of my friends he was a teacher you know and and the other one he he, he was an actor he, all, he was always practicing there there were so always people in that studio. I was painting in one room, and in the other space they were just acting there. Uh, and there wasn't, and there was, there wasn't any door that separated us. They used to see me painting. I used to see them. I used to saw them practicing there. It was pretty, 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 pretty nice. I think the width is not okay, the width of the face, let's continue, you know, we fix little things during the process. Okay, I'm gonna do something more to the background. You know, I think I'm gonna make all this this darker, and with this blue, maybe I'm gonna add more blue, make it more pure. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm using just few paint. I'm not pressuring too much. You know, I'm just just black. I don't I don't want to make this completely darker, and then if I don't like it, I'll remove it. Yeah, I think I like the idea. Hello Jonas, thank you.
Mm, okay, I'm gonna have more. make this darker I just adding more contrast Contrast, you know, you know, light and dark. ultramarine blue direct direct basically from the tube okay since I have blue here and did you think about contrast contrast is about opposite values light and shadow opposite colors, complementary colors, you know, uh, uh, you want to create contrast, okay, you have blue was the opposite, orange, okay, blue with something that's orangey, complement really good, even I could add orange here too, and uh, it could, it could work really good, okay, or at the same time, contrast between warm and cool colors okay warm color versus cool color it's always that contrast is that obviously contrast it creates more drama you can just uh, it depends what you want you know sometimes we want just a pretty soft mute contrast let's say that uh, I add a black and white to this blue and I kill it I kill this dark you know that would be pretty soft that's that's beautiful yeah but you want to contrast like a really something black like for example an accent here pure black another pure black maybe the eyes uh, you know something like that it, it just it depends you you gotta control that uh, it depends what you want uh, now obviously uh, and speaking in terms of changing the the picture a little bit if you wanna do that, you don't want to do that, you just copy the photograph and that's it. And just, just save yourself all the time to think about all the things that you can change. Obviously, it's better to try always to change something a little bit. Okay. 
Let's mix a little bit of permanent alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue and white. Okay, that was too much white. Let's see if I can use this color. Okay, now, in my logic, if uh, using this color, obviously, I gotta think, uh, for example, that, um, okay, how I can explain this? Uh, let's say that the light is coming from the left. It's not coming from the left. It's coming from the left. And I decide that I'm gonna add this uh, violet here, 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 okay? No, I'm not going to add this violet here or here or here. I mean, I don't want to kind of, um, so sorry guys, it's kind of difficult to explain this, but let's say that I'm trying to follow some rhythm, like music, okay? And I'm adding all of, uh, to the high, high notes and adding an extra sound there. I don't know how to explain it this so clear. And this is the extra sound that's gonna be there. And uh, right now, you see this color pretty clear. It doesn't mean that it's gonna stay like that, because remember we need to find that the right balance. Maybe the right balance that would be kill down this color a little bit, and you see that just pretty subtle. Maybe not. Let's see. It's too early to to tell what's gonna happen at the end. I'm gonna make a darker variation. There are a few things that are just kind of difficult to explain sometimes, and maybe because of the language, I don't know. Okay, I'm adding pure cadmium red. You remember I'm using cadmium red hue? Okay, maybe if you have a pure I mean cadmium red, that's gonna be a little bit more intense than this cadmium red hue. Okay, need to step back. <coughs> Hello, Leslie. Hey, I'll, yeah, Leslie. He becomes creepy. Did I, did I say in that? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. I mean, that's the idea. You know, this character it has something like that. And yeah. Uh, thank you, Warrior. Just out of curiosity, which language do you use at home? Swap Neil is asking me, you know, Spanish. Hello, blog, uh, blog by Artistic Beer. 
Okay. Now I have here this cool color. Okay, it's, it's going around all this area. This is a darker color. It's a, light, a darker variation, a lighter variation. This you see it here pretty clear. Okay. Then I added a little bit of red. Few red here. Remember, I mean, you see me adding these colors here, but I uh, think that a lot of the things that I add, I lay down these colors and thinking, okay, which one I'm going to knock down, which one is working, which one is not working, which one is going to keep us till the end, or and which one I'm going to get rid of. Okay, squinting down my eyes and I love the red, 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 red. I love this cool color. Yeah, I need to add a little bit of detail. Right now I like it the way it is, but no. It's a little bit of expression, but I need some details. Yeah, unless I decide not to paint teeth. <laughs> Which could be could be a really nice thing because that's gonna be a lot of work uh, how do you think about this Janus is saying that one doesn't need to know how to paint the parts like the nose ears just need to place the color in the right place which then makes that part yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe because of my English, but I didn't get it. Sorry. <laughs> I think you're trying to say that uh, color is gonna create the illusion of form. I think. Uh, obviously, color, color, not just color. You know, color and value creates the illusion of form. It's not just about line lines. Just, uh, just kind of uh, frame form, but form form is a uh, we create form by just manipulating color and value. Now, obviously, in a portrait, we know where are the reds, we know where are the greens. The rest, uh, if we want to add any extra color, we can just place that color following lights and shadows or midtones, like I, I'm doing with this purple let's say that this is not purple let's say that it's just green if I add green here definitely I'm gonna just follow the same you know this area that is kind of uh, has the same uh, is facing the same direction is I don't know how to explain that so sorry I'm going to leave that to your your imagination. Okay, I'm going to try to make some details. Uh, oh, first I need to... Okay, well, first I need to add another green. I have chrome green hue. I did use this one a few times. I love it, it's pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, I have to knock down, I cannot use this pure, but uh, let's see, maybe maybe you can use it just pure. I don't know. But you can you see on the screen it looks pretty pretty intense. Okay. Let's mix the screen. And depending on your own screen, maybe it looks even more intense that than really is. 
Okay, and adding a little bit of white and a little bit of this black. Okay, if I add white and black, I'm using gray. And gray is knocking down this green. Gray is gonna knock down any color. Okay, uh, the other option is add the complementary color, red. I mean, I don't wanna add red because the result is gonna be different. I wanna knock down green, but not the way I want it, okay? That means not always works, just knock down any color, a color with the complementary color. Sometimes you just want to add gray. Because I don't want, I, I know, I have an idea what's gonna get if I add the complementary color. And kind of I see that in my head and I say, no, I don't want that. And at the same time, I kind of have an idea what's gonna happen if I just add gray. Then I say, okay, I want that color. Okay, let me step back. Hmm. Barbara goes here, I say in, I say in to Jonas Mark, this may, this may work. We could try to paint a portrait upside down, upside down, which is not, it's not easy because we are not used to paint faces like that. Yeah, that would be a nice experiment. Yeah. Uh, if it works, just by placing colors right. Yeah, definitely. But it's not. It's not definitely. I mean, it's definitely, the thing is gonna work. Obviously, you kind of, uh, kind of, you have to try and kind of form the face. You know, darks. A dark brush strokes for the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Yeah. Definitely color is gonna help. I mean it's going to work. I don't like this green here. I'm gonna leave it there for a minute. Okay, let me step back, check out, yeah, I like it, I like it, I don't care if you don't like it. <laughs> Let's see, just, I, I'm just thinking right now which color I'm, gonna, I'm going to knock down, okay? 
maybe uh, obviously the green here maybe this green here or maybe just gonna keep it my brush and add uh, use a different brush let's continue with this light color to add some lights here some cool lights cool highlights Okay. Okay. Yeah, something's not okay here. But it's not okay because of the value. I think it's this light should be. I'm squinting down my eyes, trying to see as much as possible. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. I think I'm doing okay, but something uh, definitely, obviously, you know that every brush stroke we apply is just trying to fix the previous brush stroke. Okay, I have this cool light highlights, which is pretty good. I have some reds on the face, I like those reds, some pinks, some reds, okay, what about the teeth, oh yeah, that's gonna be just a problem. Okay, let's add some details, okay? I'm gonna look for a tiny brush. I have this brush here, number zero. And I'm mixing just blood and permanent laser and crimson. Uh, now I'm going to zoom in this see details Try to paint some details. You know, I paint a little bit one eye, a little bit, okay. I'm not gonna stay here too much. I'm gonna move to the other eye. Okay. 
Let's add some blue to the eyes. some grey to paint the white of the eye Let's go back to this dark color. I'm adding diamond red, a touch of yellow. See, I need to step back. Mm, okay, I like it. Okay, yeah, I like it. I'm going to capture the likeness and at the same time, uh, obviously, uh, the character, you know. This kind of uh, crazy guy from these Spider-Man movies. Hello, hey, hello, hello, hi, man. I went to see this movie, Spider Man, the last one. And my son, he was like, I should, you should paint this guy. And I said, okay, okay.
and if somebody wants to paint along with me you know that I have a, a Patreon account and we paint Tuesdays, Saturdays, Sundays, Wednesdays Wednesdays we draw basically the whole week Now we have a group, a Facebook, a private Facebook group where you can just post your paintings and get some critiques. Okay, let's get into the nose. I'll be back to the eyes, I'm not done here yet. Uh, but you know, I always do the same. I paint the eyes a little bit and then I move to the nose and then I move to the mouth and then I go up to the eyes again. Not in that precise order, you know, after I finish up painting the mouth, I mean, this first, let's say, go on the mouth, I want to check out the whole, uh, the overall shape, values. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna insinuate the teeth a little bit, like one here, two, three, four, five. back <laughs> doesn't look okay Oh, Big Brother is asking me what's the name of the Facebook group. It's a private group. <laughs> it's a private group. <laughs> uh, well, that's what I was saying that uh, it's a group for the patrons. You know. uh, there we publish the paintings from the paint alone lessons and the drawings uh, basically Saturdays for example Saturdays we paint landscapes, still lives more like a uh, loose with a loose brush stroke more, more freely we paint Saturdays uh, a couple of hours with oil paint and then a couple of hours with acrylics every Saturday uh, uh, 
okay and then Sundays for example we paint five hours just portrait we go really slow because we try to obviously I'm trying to explain as much as possible about drawing values and and more important you know that the patrons paint they need to paint and get as much as possible of a painting in those four or five hours okay okay it's getting okay uh, uh, you know the teeth are not okay but that gives me an idea about the position okay that's what I want right now and obviously I'm not gonna be able to make too many details to the teeth that could take me easily an hour that could be too much one thing about the green or I spread this green all over the face or reduce a little bit of the green I'm giving myself those two options you know because I like it but I know at the same time that's too much green it, does, it looks, doesn't look uh, I wanted a lot of color but you know but I, at the same time I don't want to look like some kind of makeup Let's see what we can get. One thing is what we want, and the other thing is what can we get. Looks like the Joker did I say in that. Yes, that's right. Uh, Big Bird is asking, what's the requirement to join the group? Uh, be one of my patrons it means join my patron account but you can join my paint i mean this way in other words that would be paying <laughs> yeah you know because those, those are just uh kind of private uh, lessons If somebody joins my Patreon account right now, for example, you're gonna get access to almost almost 200 videos, 200 recorded videos, you know, from the live sessions. And then, obviously, you're gonna get access to the group, the Facebook group. To share your paintings and at the same time Fridays Fridays uh, we have I have a critique session where you can post any painting you want me to critique and I do it live Fridays you know uh, what basically I do is I paint on top of your painting with digital painting with Photoshop I use Photoshop and I paint on top of your painting making corrections and explain you how to, what to improve on your own painting what can you improve on your painting it could be about values it could be about color I do that I do that with Photoshop and I think it's pretty amazing you know the possibilities to we have with such kind of tool like Photoshop you know we can I can retouch a lot and that's kind of give an idea about the retouches that you can do on your on the home painting. We do that every Friday for a couple of hours on the morning. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that some, some, I mean, usually unable to critique all the paintings. 
but for a couple of times I wasn't able to critique all the paintings and if let's say that you place your painting for me to critique this week and I'm not, not able to do it because it was I had so many paintings to critique I will do it next week yeah? well this is every Friday and you can get access to that just for four dollars per month it's nothing And the more important, you're gonna join join an amazing group of people. Okay, this I need to darken up the eyes. Uh, I'm gonna work a little bit on the teeth. Now that I see something here at least, it's gonna be a little. It's gonna give me a better idea. You know, here is the mirror. There, I'm checking out the tip of the nose, the tear duct, and to have an idea about the mirror here. From the mirror, one tooth to the right, the other one to the left, a little one here, a little one here. A big one here and a big one here. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, no, I gotta cheer up myself. <laughs> I am my worst critiquer, and at the same time, I, I am my bigger, my biggest fan. You know, we work usually alone. I mean, that's that's for me, and I have to critique myself. I have to kind of put myself into somebody's shoes and try to be mean sometimes. Yeah, and other times, I just keep him saying, "Oh my God, that's so beautiful. You're just a nice and amazing painter." That, you know, we have we a trick of brain just to have a nice balance. And don't ki kill ourselves just thinking that we're making mistakes or we're not so good or whatever it is. Because we're gonna make mistakes always. I mean, this is just like that always. Okay, I love this blue. Keep it this blue here, just here, or I can make it both sides. What do you think? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, one thing, if I keep it more bluish in this side, at the same time I can just push the blue here a little bit more too. Why? Simple color theory rules. Comparison, you know.
use this or orange gray color and put it here to knock down this uh, green Steve as, is asking me what mag magnification tool are you using? Oh, I don't get it. Sorry, magnification tool. Uh, you mean uh, zooming in, zooming out? Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, I, sorry, I don't know the, I don't know how, how to answer that question. But if you're speaking about uh, like zooming in, I'm just using my camera, my and zooming in the camera, just that. Okay, that's better. I have neutralized this green a little bit. Okay. That's much better. I'm keeping the light here, here, here. Okay, I need more light in this area. Okay, he's zooming in, zooming out. Oh, just, just, just. I have a a, a camera. It's just uh, but it's, it, it, you know, I, I I have the option. You just you know this cam. This my camera is for filming. It's a tiny, a small camera, and you know any. Uh, what's this? I mean, any camera, I think that all the cameras has uh, those options to zoom in, zoom out. Uh, maybe not. I mean, a uh, year ago I was using uh, just a webcam, and a webcam, I, I, it doesn't have that option. I had to use uh, OBS to zoom in or the same driver, the camera driver to zoom in. But with uh, this filmmaker, film camera, what's the name of this camera? I don't remember. I have just press. I, I just press one button and zoom in and zoom out. So easy. Okay. Still bad. Uh, doing okay. I think. Mm, okay, let's continue. Uh, maybe it, it's, uh, I need to make this more pointy, maybe. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, I love the teeth like that, darks like that. I don't know, it looks like I, I make, I, I, I make this character even creepier. Oh, Steve, you're asking me for painting the terrace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I, I you know, uh, I do this to see the terrace, uh, to compare with the photograph that I have here on my computer. You know, I have the zoom. I have OBS. I watching right now OBS. And I put the photograph next to that, and I can compare. That's easy. I can see both on my screen right now. The OBS, that's what my camera is just watching. And I repeat the photograph that I'm using to paint. I think some people are interested about this, these things, you know, about OBS or all those things. That's free, you know, OBS is free. You can just find it, look for OBS on, on 
Google. You download it, it's, it's free. Completely free. You install it on the computer and then you can use it to control your camera. The camera and the live streams. light now a little bit of light here okay a little bit of orange a touch of pure orange here obviously it's not gonna stay orangey orangey because you know my painting is wet I'm gonna get mixed I'm gonna add a little bit of pure coming red. You're gonna mix coming red with a lizard crimson, and again, I need a darker red. see that that's what I want okay now the nose the color is too light I need that darker red thank you Barb Bianchi hello Mary how are you okay Mary oh thank you Dita the things that is finished Darken this red. I'm gonna just use a glycerin crimson, and here we go. Got the same glycerin crimson here. Okay, pure. Okay, pure glycerin crimson. Mixing coming red with a laser and crimson. I want an intense red here. I don't know what to do. Keep maybe add just some a little bit of lights to the teeth. Just a little bit, okay, and keep them a little bit darker. I like the teeth a little bit darker. I think that adds something more 
to the character. What do you think? Uh, remember that uh, obviously uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time painting the teeth. And at the same time that I want this, you know, uh, I want to, can you, you see the expression, you know, <laughs> it's kind of a creepy expression. And I want to add more to that. Hmm, 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 hmm. Getting close, I'm getting close. Okay, I gotta think. This side and this side it has the same lightness. Oh, this is a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna mix the paint here to make it a little bit darker. And at the same time, this is a little bit rounded like a create illusion that this is turning the same here and clean the brush okay I need a little bit of light light and light Back. Mm -hmm. 
paint a little bit of here. Let's add some red here. Just a little bit. Okay. Some blue. <coughs> okay, check out again, to step back, yeah, I think it's, I think it's okay with the expression, it's just one thing that I have a doubt is uh, the thickness, you know, the width of the face is something that is so sure. Hmm. Maybe make the forehead grow a little bit. Or something there that that is not okay. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna be able obviously to find or to solve a, a, every problem that I'm, I'm, I'm facing during the whole process, but. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying just to get close and I compare a lot with the paint, with the photograph and try to see the values are okay, proportions are okay. Maybe I need just more light on the chain. It could be just that, more light or light up the chain or... Hmm. Yeah, but at the same time I'm doing something, you know, I'm comparing this shape here. And I think it's okay. You know, this, uh, it obviously we, we, you know that we always face that, those kind of doubts. And sometimes it's it's not it's not gonna be about uh, changing some measurement or making grow. Sometimes it's gonna be about value. Uh, for example, if I get rid of the shadow here below the chain, I'm gonna make the chain look look longer. And that's not a change on for real a real change on the the, the length of you know of the chain, it's just about the value. I gotta be careful with that because sometimes it's just about that. 
and sometimes I have to make something grow for real okay I'm gonna try just to add more light here kind of pushing the shadow See that's fixed a little bit. Yeah, I think that helps. Mm -hmm. Okay, that helps a little bit, but not perfectly. No, okay. uh, I need some light here. Now every time that we try to correct something, definitely we add in more paint. We maybe we're gonna change the color. Try to be careful just about that. Okay, that's gonna happen. Inevitable. It's, it's gonna be inevitable for us to change the color little by little when we add more and more paint. Okay. And especially when we make retouches. Okay, I think it's okay. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of blue here. I just want to add a touch of blue in this wrinkle here. Okay, it was too light. I'm gonna be a little bit darker. Okay, a touch of blue here. A little bit, just a little bit, okay. Now, I gotta go back and work on the eyes again. Uh, Barbara is saying probably the chain could be slightly longer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Monique. Dita is saying spider under, under his chain. He's less creepy now. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, by adding more paint here, I'm getting out. I'm getting rid of this out of this green. I didn't want that. I mean, I don't want fully do that because uh, that's 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 one problem. You know, sometimes we paint, we paint, and uh, we tend to knock down all the colors. I wanna add green, a little bit of green again. Just a touch, okay? Because I I. I I love that, I love the green there. I don't want to get rid of that completely. Okay, at the same time, some pink, for example, here, a touch of red. That's my dog. Time to eat. Let's work on the eyes.
Uh, you know the effect of some pure accent uh, usually makes the color uh, vibrate on those little things, okay? Uh, one way to take advantage of that is, remember, add complementary colors together. That's going to create, that's going to uh, exaggerate that. But it should be pretty subtle. Uh, those are things that it takes time to control and balance, okay, but uh, for example, this touch of blue, this touch of red, little touches green, red, okay, uh, it's a cool area, a touch of red here. I'm looking for that if, uh, another thing that uh, sometimes this works from a distance, it's not going to work when you see a painting too close because you're gonna see the colors just separated. But when you see the painting from a distance, it's like the colors melt together, okay? And you see a colorful painting there. But you for real analyze a painting, okay? A painting usually has like 70% or 80% is just grayish colors. That's what we call these muddy colors. Those accents is just the ones that uh, kind of make or scream or make the painting loud in color. Obviously, uh, it's not always the same case for everything, you know, there are paintings that are just full of color, it's like 80% of the painting is full of color, but in the kind of painting, this style of painting I'm trying to get, uh, is about the balance, okay? Uh, if you take out this green from here, and you pick up this green alone, you analyze it, you're gonna see that it's not a pure green. It's not as pure as this green. Okay, if I put a brush stroke of this green here, you're gonna see that really pure. You don't gonna find maybe a, an area that is fully orangey or reddish. Those strong, strong colors, you're gonna find them just in tiny areas. Like for example, here, here is pure, almost pure red. Uh, camion red and permanently is increasing together or this blue okay or here again this red now if you throw these colors all over the painting you you have to be aware that you need to knock down some of them uh, but I mean it's gonna be about practice it's kind of difficult but keep in mind that uh, this thing about Complementary colors, uh, warm and cool colors, because those are the colors that are going to create contrast on your painting. And as a result, your painting is going to look a little bit more colorful. Okay? And obviously, light and shadow is, for example, uh, if I want to see this as a light in my background, uh, what I have done is making this, this darker. Because in the photograph it's just light, just one value. And that's pretty good, that's enough, yeah, but I wanted a little bit more and it's something pretty simple. Just think about this, if you want to see light, what do you need? Shadow, okay? And just find the way to put that shadow on your painting. Okay, uh, I think I, I got a mistake here, and then I think it was here, you know, I think it's better now. I have kind of narrowed the face in this area, I need to do the same here. And this thing about color is uh, 
it's gonna take a lifetime to to practice to you know it's kind of difficult color is just like that it's so difficult mm -hmm. the best way that would be always try to change I keep saying that every time that I paint think think in two terms in terms of copying what you see exactly what you see when you want to just practice copying you know because we want to copy something we want it the right color we want to mix the exact color you know but at the same time try another painting where you're gonna change something and you know from the very beginning that you're gonna change you're gonna change something and you're gonna push yourself to add more color and to experiment with that Okay, stepping back, checking out. Mm, yeah, it looks like everything is okay. Let me check out the time. It's been two hours. Two hours. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me see. wrinkles here What else? What about the nose? Yeah, maybe something is not okay with the nose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I gotta think the nose, I think.
Okay. Oh, hello, Michael. Uh, Ili Thili is saying, William the Four, it's very hard to get paint because his personality is too unusual. Uh, hello, Michael. I think I need to darken up a little bit one of this this clearer here. Yes. Right. here pink basically pink because of the tilt up highlight okay. what about the highlight on the eye yeah you can add any uh, highlight on the eye Okay, that's better. <clears throat> okay, let me think, let me think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I still need to add some details here, some wrinkles here.
Oh, thank you so much, Michael, for the super chat. Thank you so much. This is incredible. <laughs> His face is, has so many details. You know, I'm thinking that uh, I could stop here. I was thinking that just to, but then I thought, okay, I need some maybe some more volume because it's like every small area, like here, for example, there is some roughness, you know every little tiny part it has some thickness and in order to, to get that it's just gonna be about adding lights and mid-tones and shadows but what about the teeth i'm gonna add just some uh highlights a little bit just a little bit okay i want to keep those teeth a little bit darker okay I think it's working pretty good and at the same time you know that saved me some time Okay, painting teeth is really hard. Uh, if I could tell you an advice about this, uh, first that would be don't paint the teeth white. Okay, remember the white that you see on the teeth, the only white you're gonna see that's gonna be the, the highlights. That means that we need to start with a really uh, kind of a mid tone. Uh, some kind of a mixture between just gray and the skin color and from there getting the volume by adding more light more light light and light feel the roughness of this area you know, the face is kind of make a full a lot of spherical shapes
Okay, time to eat here. What do you think? I think I got the thickness of the face. Okay, I think that's it for today. Yeah. Thank you, Lobby Art. Michael is asking me, are you feeling better now? Yeah, 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 no, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. You know, I got the, I got the, f I got the flu. Oh. Oh, really, really hard flu. I was like a week, not in bed, but a week, kind of coughing, and I couldn't speak so, so good. Every time that I was trying to speak, I was coughing. But it was, it wasn't the COVID. I don't think, you know, it's just, it's just a flu. I was uh, getting into summer here and I was drinking a lot of uh, iced coffee you know coffee with uh, just ice <laughs> it's just delicious I cannot resist you know to, to drink iced coffee and yeah well, that was too much I think Okay, I think that's it. I'm try, trying to check it out the last things I can retouch. Um, let's see what is, what is, what is, what is, what is. Little touches, little touches. Uh, maybe the brows. Huh? Oh, whoa, forget. I can make here the brows a little bit dark. Just a little bit. Okay, I think everything is okay for me. I love this. Uh, the, te the teeth is just the only thing that I, 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 I could just to put more time, but you know, that's just just too much. I mean, I just try to con convince, co convince myself just to <laughs> not to paint the teeth. Okay, what is, yeah. I got the expression, I think. I like the colors. Mm -hmm. Yep. Proportions, I think, are okay. You know, you have to check up all these proportions. Or maybe I have to kind of move the eyebrow a little bit lower. No, I think that's okay. Or is the nose is pointy enough? Yeah, I think it is. The mouth. This green is okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. This green is not too strong. 
I like it. Maybe some touches. Let's see if I can add, I can add another touch of green here. Yeah. You know, I think this green it, it kind of makes the face a kind of creepy. But I like it. The blue here, I like it too. I mean, it looks like it's just a launder. I, I, I wish I, 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 I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'd add more blue. I added a little bit of blue here, just to not, not leave this color alone. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much, you all, for being here with me. Uh, are you going to darkness the hair? Somebody's asking me. No, I think it's okay, just like that. I just, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to make so many details, you know. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm happy with the painting. There is always something, I mean, it's just a prima painting. Today I wanna just to, always I wanna get the likeness, you know, but today I wanted to get some kind of more colorful portrait. And I think I got it, yeah. I'm happy with this. Okay, thank you so much everybody, okay? Take care, let me put my face here. Here I am. So happy to be here and thank you so much, you all. Take care, okay? Bye. Let's see. Thank you, Oscar. I'm gonna read the last things. Uh, understand the lips need bits of highlight. Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Luby. Okay, here I am again. Bye.